I like honeysuckle. So I'm going to do me some honeysuckle. And I need to have a little bit more water here to clean out my, my dropper. Clean my dropper out. And what I've learned from experience just doing one squeeze on the dropper is just pretty close to 25 drops. So I'm going to do 25. Twenty-five is fifty. Another twenty-five is seventy-five. Let's see where we're at now. And essentially, you just mix it up. Remember, this has got sort of an undertone of, of lilac. And I'm adding some honey syrup. Now, the other soaps I did, I added it, a lot more honeysuckle and lilac. That's got a nice subtle, subtle scent to it right now. So I, I kind of like that, the honeysuckle fur that I had before. So let me put the lid on the, the honeysuckle. And here's my fur. And I'm going to, I can't remember, some of these bottle tops, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, two, three, two, four, twenty-five. Some of the tops, you can see the little bitty tops on that one. Some of them, Grip. Some of them decide they're not going to grip. Mix it up very good. Now see, after I put the, the fur in there, that may have knocked out my honeysuckle aroma. It did. It, it kind of knocked it out. So I'm going to need to do some more honeysuckle. And as I remember right, that's what I had to do before. So, another 25, that's up to 100 now. And another 25, that's 125. Let's see where we're at now. Just one more squirt. If I remember right, I put just right at on the lilac. Uh, I did the arco so I put right at 200 drops. I don't know. I may have to add some more. But essentially then what I do is I, I just take and I put it in these little tubs and I close them up. And these aren't super tight tubs. So there's a little bit of evaporation. So I go and I then let them set for a few days and then I test it and see how the smell is. If the smell's not what I want, then I may then have to add just a little bit more water, maybe a tablespoon or so. Loosen it up a little bit, add some more essential oils. So we got the honeysuckle fur made. Set that aside. And now this one. 
And this is the one that has the liquid glycerin in it. Put my lid back on my fur, although I may use it again. Take the stopper out of my high suckle. I'm going to rinse that out. I don't know, I get a little bit, just, I get a little bit of cross contamination. But just rinsing them out helps a little bit. Patchouli. Patchouli. Kind of a smoky, exotic kind of smell and aroma. I've never used it before. Looks like it's kind of dark. Does this do 25? Twenty-five. There's fifty. Uh, some of these essential oils will color your crow. Okay, it's got kind of the patchouli kind of undertone. What else do we want to do here? A patchouli and orange. That's pretty good. I've got some some clove. Kind of make it a little spicy. Let's add a little bit of clove. And if I remember right, clove doesn't... I don't think I can get this to drop. I'm going to take the top off of this. going to use nearly as much clove. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. got some night bloom jasmine fragrance oil. It's a very, very sweet smell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. and the patchouli is still pretty strong. That jasmine didn't do much to it, so I'm going to do a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So. the dogs are howling outside. There must be a fire engine going by. It's never boring here at my house. Maybe chaotic sometimes. That patchouli is still pretty strong. I'm going to need to do some more jasmine. Another 25.
And that's basically how you do it. You just kind of add, put stuff in it, add some more, put some more stuff in it. Now I'm starting to smell the jasmine. One more, one more. That'll, that'll give me an undertone of the patchouli. I want the jasmine to stand out. See, this jasmine is a fragrance oil. Whereas the patchouli, I believe, is an essential oil. Now, the fragrance oil should be the one that's most prominent when you open up the container and start using it. The essential oil should be what is more of an undertone aroma, the secondary aroma. So, at least that's the way I understand it. I may be totally wrong. Yeah, the sweetness of the patchouli, sweetness of the jasmine the patchouli. little bit of clove. That's an interesting smell. It's a subtle smell. It's not a real overpowering smell. But that is essentially how you do it. Now this this is pretty loose. See how it's sliding around? This is pretty loose. This I will probably leave the lid cracked when I put it in the tubs. And uh, from past experience, this will create one and a portion of these tubs. And I'm not sure how many milliliters that is. I don't know if it says on there. It says it's 236 milliliters. So it's going to be a little, it's going to be a, about 250 probably, my guess is. So I'll make this up. I'm going to let it cure. I may tweak it a little bit later on. I've got some friends I want to send some to. And uh, that's the b benefit of making your own concoctions out of inexpensive materials is you can share it widely and it's not a huge amount out of your pocket. It's coming from your heart. It's your love. So, Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. I got a lot of edits to do in this, so it's going to probably be a while since I get it to get it out. But when I do, thank you for watching, and talk to you later. Bye bye.